Musar crisis we have. Musar crisis for sure we have. And one of the reasons we have it is because the foundation of much of our teachings is wrong. So one of the examples I can give you, and we'll finish off with this point, is that today there's something that Hashem did for us as a chesed. He did us a chesed, he did us a favor. And he gave us such an easy way to learn Torah that for anyone who doesn't learn Torah, it's mamash would be a special punishment. I don't even know if, if Geinom would be enough for them for not learning Torah because of how easy it is to learn Torah today. So easy to learn Torah. You want books? It's not like the old days you had to travel to a different town find a book. You have books, $5 you get Sefer Torah. $10 you get Sefer Torah. Any language you want. Russian, Hebrew, Spanish, whatever. Make a new language, they'll make you a book. You can't read, watch videos. You can't hear, there's even certain places you can actually get it on Brill. It's so easy to learn Torah, so easy. One of the chesed, one of the chasadim that Hashem Itbach did for us is He gave us art scroll. I call it a chesed. And the reason why I call it a chesed is because art scroll is in essence was a prophecy that we're going to be a generation of stupid people. No, Bemet, I'm not, this is, this is myself included. We are going to be a generation of idiots that are not going to be able to translate what Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Eliezer ben Holkonos, Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakai, all of the tzaddikim, all of the Kyoshim, we're not going to understand what they mean. We're not going to understand what they mean. We're not going to understand. So now when we had Rashi, it was wonderful for the previous generation because everybody knew how to read Rashi. Problem is, people don't, not only don't know how to read Rashi, they don't know how to read Hebrew. Many people know how to make the sounds of Hebrew. Many people know how to make, even before I did Shuvah, I was born in Israel, so I already knew how to make the sounds in Hebrew. Understanding what the sounds mean is a different story completely. So now, even if you know how to read Rashi, in this generation, most of the time you're not going to understand even Rashi. Why? It's deep. In many cases, it's deep. You're not going to understand the tachlis, the point. You're not going to understand it. So what Art Scroll did, for anyone who studies Art Scroll properly, not just art reading the top and that's it, reading every single word on the page, the bottom, the top, the little footnotes, the small print, the side print, the, this, everything, everything on the page. Takes you six hours, let it take six hours. When I first started learning Gemara, it took me six hours per page. Six hours per page. I wanted to kill myself. I used to be considered a scholar in the secular world. And now six hours for a little page? You know how many books I read in my life? Six hours for one page? I'm like, I could build a company in six hours. So I started looking. I'm like, six hours per page. Eating myself up. My brain is boiling. I have smoke coming out of my eyes and my ears. Finally, I finished a page. I feel like I gave birth. But art school made it easy. Why? Because by the time I finished, I knew what was going on. I knew what was going on. Basically, I knew what was going on. I got to the conclusion. Why they told me what the conclusion is. I got to the conclusion. And then from the conclusion, you build other things. You build on it. The more you learn Gemara, you finish one Masechet, two Masechet, three Masechet, four Masechet, five Masechet. You finish the Shas. You get a basic understanding of knowledge. You finish it again. Got more understanding. This, you can learn this a thousand times and you can still learn more new things. A thousand times. You're still going to learn new things. Problem is that without art scroll, we leave ourselves very vulnerable in a way that people just read the basics and they're forced to come up with their own conclusions. Now, if you're learning in the yeshiva and you have a rav, it's a talmit chacham, that has finished the shah several times, knows what's going on, knows this specific Gemara, has gone over it with his Rav. He knows what's going on. The Talmidim Chachamim, not uh, some guy just uh, started learning six months ago. Someone serious is your teacher. It's overseeing you and double-checking the conclusion that you arrived to by using your own intellect. You have somebody like that? Don't use art school. Don't use art school. Why? Because you have somebody overseeing you. You don't need art school. Because he's going to help you get to the light. 
is going to help you that when you make a mistake, which is 99% of the time, he's going to tell you, this is why you made a mistake. Because he's rough. He's, you're in a yeshiva. You're in a supervised learning. But when you're not in that type of learning, and you're just learning chavuta with one of your buddies, and you're a new bal tshuva, or you're just learning on your own, if you don't use art scroll, you're an idiot. Why? Because you're going to be wrong. You're going to be wrong. And I can, I can tell you stories of how many people are wrong every day that send me stuff. The world will end, and my stories won't end. The world will end, and my stories won't end of how many people get to the wrong conclusions by learning it by themselves without art scroll. Why? We're not a, that, we're not a generation of giants. We're not. You can get to be. After you finish the shah several times, shrecha. You'll learn it, you'll finish it, you'll do it, you'll be Tamit Chacham. But in the beginning, you don't use this, you're going to be wrong. You can live your whole life thinking you're about Shuvah, you're Tzaddik, 50 years, you're with a Rasha. Gemara Masechet Yoma says, someone who doesn't have a Rav, God hates him. Someone who doesn't have a Rabbi, God hates him. Why does he hate him? He says because he's too arrogant to have a Rav. He thinks he's his own Rav. He doesn't think he's ever going to be wrong. He has too much gava. He doesn't think he's going to be wrong. He thinks he's God. I hate him. So, for all of those people that say, and I hear this very often, in the Froom world, they say, no, no, if you're studying Torah, you're not allowed to use art scroll. First of all, that's wrong. On many levels. Number one, because if you're not in a yeshiva environment, you should and you have to use art scroll or something similar to it to arrive to the right conclusion two the right conclusion is just the basics what you're going to use your intellect is after you go over it several times but at least get to the basics if you get the basic answer wrong everything you build on it is going to be wrong anyway so at least get to the original right conclusion so you can build on it something bigger so without getting the right conclusion in the beginning you're going to be wrong in general which could get you to staying in on for a very long time so first of all, it's wrong to tell people not to use it. Second of all, in a generation where most of the religious Jews are Baalei Tshuva, to say you're not allowed to get help is 100% wrong because you are discouraging anyone who even wants to learn Torah by telling them, hey, your Torah is not worth anything. You tell them, oh, you're learning with art scroll, you're learning with assistance. Look, they're making it like it's easy. They're making it like it's easy to learn. Three, four, five hours to an hour it's they're making it like it's easy to learn oh you learn Oscar <laughs> look at these faces like there's like they have uh, some type of uh, muscle uh, deformity or something like that make these face hey, you like the, oh, you like the faces hey you learn what I ah, yeah I learned I, I don't learn Oscar I don't, I don't even learn what Rashi oh okay you're Rambam wow you're you're Rashi you're Rashi you're Rashi let me kiss your hand you're Rashi I have one guy, one guy, he said, no, 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 give me the Gemara without Rashi. Give me the Gemara without Rashi. Psst. Ah, amazing. You're amazing. Tzaddik. Kabbalist. <laughs> Who are these people? Who are these people? Well, the guy didn't even know Alachot Shabbat. No, no, give me the Gemara without Rashi. Give me the Gemara without Rashi. So, these people, stay away from them. Stay away from them. Stay away from them. Why? They are going to be, or they are already the Kuflim of the generation. They're discouraging Baalei Tshuva. That's point number two. Point number three, what do you think is the biggest sin? Well, let's say, let's just say, it's not, obviously, it's a mitzvah, huge mitzvah. Let's say, let's say, hypothetically, we're going to go far now. We're going to go far. Let's just say that learning with art scroll, let's say it's a sin because you're getting too much help because you're not using your intellect. Let's say it's not, obviously, but let's just say it is. What do you think is the biggest sin? What do you, who do you think goes to Gehenom? The guy that's learning with art scroll or the guy that says Lashon Ara about art scroll, about the Baal Tshuva in public? Who do you think goes to Gehenom for eternity? Which one? Which one? Who's the newest student here? You can answer it. So when you go out there, you go in the public, you write articles. Hey, no, no, you shouldn't use this. You shouldn't use this. You tell people like this. It's Lashon Ara. You're hurting their business. You're hurting the students. You're hurting the Baal Tshuva. You're hurting everyone. And last but not least, Gavat Adam Tashpilenu. 
שלמה המלך says, you have gava, לא, ב, לא בשמיים היא, you have gava, your Torah is not from שמיים anyway. If you have gava, you have too much pride, whatever you're learning with Rashi, without Rashi, with Archko, without Archko, it's not from שמיים, it's your own knowledge, it's nothing. It's worth nothing. It's worth zero, your Torah. You want to get Torah? Torah is using an analogy to water. Why? Because water travels to the lowest level. Water travels to the lowest level. Water travels to the lowest level. The, the, lowest level. It's the only way you could explain how a guy who just started keeping Shabbat a few years ago is telling you all these Gemara, three hours Shugat Torah for the last three years. Only way. Truth is, it's all from Hashem. We have to know how to treat it. Stop with the stop with the gava. We're thinking who we are. Every single guy is a posek. Listen to the sages. Do the right things. Relax. Be a decent human being. Learn some musar. Stop uh, thinking you're a little Rambam. Start thinking. Stop thinking you're a little Moshe Rabbeinu because if you were the dust, under the dust, that Rambam maybe stepped on, maybe maybe you'd be something one day. But you're not even that yet. <laughs>